We are called to cultivate something eternally beautiful. So Mars and Venus recently conjoined in the sign of Capricorn. This happened on February 16th, the same day as a powerful, igniting Leo full moon. So I don't know about you, but I was getting so many confirmations about things that I'd been intuitively feeling and sensing kind of all kind of came to a head on that date. And Mars and Venus are all about things that we are passionate about, things that are attractive to us, things that we find desirous. And in the sign of Capricorn, we are definitely focused on the long term. What is going to continue to light our fire long term? And so that that was something that we started to think about. How how do our various engagements in the world sort of correspond with our core sense of values? So maybe you also received some really powerful confirmations or shifts that were occurring within your psyche or within your heart around that time. It started a whole new beginning in many different ways. Um, But here it gets interesting because Mars and Venus, while they aren't exactly conjunct to the degree or to the minute, they are traveling very, very tightly and they will continue to do so through early March. So what we're going to see is a couple different um, aspects that they kind of double up on while they're conjunct to other planets before we see them conjoin once more hand in hand as they cross that threshold from the sign of Capricorn into Aquarius on March 5th and 6th, depending on your time zone. And we will get there. But today we are going to be talking about their sextile to Neptune. So here we have uh, Venus and Mars in Capricorn forming a sextile to dreamy Neptune. So what happens is, is that we got really grounded. We got really grounded about what we desire, what is attractive to us, what ignites our fire. There may have been some really powerful um, relationship dynamics coming into view because when we have a conjunction, that is basically the wrapping up of an old cycle as well as the reseeding or the renewal of a new one. So we could think about Mars and Venus in this conjunction as a renewal of our vows in a sense to the various relationships in our lives. Who are we committed to and why? How does it kind of fit into our core sense of values? And, you know, thinking long term, how the relationship is going to sustain us in a long term way. And of course, not every relationship is going to be long term, um, but some of them are. So maybe this this very particular conjunction seemed to highlight those ones that have been long term and you would desire to be long term. I think also this conjunction really invited us to affirm how worthy we are of having a quality partner, of having a quality lover, of having, um, you know, engagements in our, in our creative practice that are really satisfying for us. Um, so here we take it to a next level because we got really grounded in the sign of Capricorn. Now we have this sextile to Neptune, which is dreamy, ethereal. It's going to activate our imagination. Um, many of us were making big decisions around that time. So now we get to dream. Now we get to be enchanted by the decision that we made. Because sometimes um, we get we get in this back and forth, this waffling phase of, what are we doing? What should we be doing? And once you choose, once it becomes really clear, you get that sense of security. Security is important um, for a lot of people. Then once you kind of establish that foundation, then you get to dream. Then you get to visualize what else is possible. You get to um, let your creative brain and your heart kind of start to kind of um, influence how that ship is being steered a little bit. Um, so now, so now this, this is a very romantic potential. This could be a a very inspirational aspect. If you're in the, in a creative field, um, this can help open. So if, if part of your intention was letting people in more, because Capricorn can be a sign that's kind of reserved, big on the boundaries, and those are important, but the sextile of Neptune says, hey, I can trust this person. Well, I'm going to let them in a little bit more. I'm going to open up a little bit more. Um, let's have that heart-to-heart connection. It is Pisces season after all. So that's a little bit about what Neptune can offer. Again, it's, it's a sextile. It's not going to be life-changing. It's it's an um, 
it's an opportunity. Um, so you we we can consciously open to that possibility, um, but we have to do it. So dream about what's next. Dream about what else is possible. Dare to get creative. We've got some other aspects coming up this week that also support that, so stay tuned. And that was your astrology shot of the day. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. For more astrology in your world, you can connect with me on all platforms at Astro Catherine. You can also check out my website, katherineurban.com, where you can book your year ahead reading and we can see what 2022 has in store for you. Bye.